It's a live admin day and I am ready to do a bunch of little things to get my life together. So this video is going to be separated into three parts. I'm gonna start by doing a bunch of little things to make me feel better in my home and my life. Then I'm gonna do some fun things that are focused more on making future me happy. Then I'm focusing on multipliers. So things that are going to ultimately save me time in the future by doing them now. If you haven't seen my life admin day videos before, I've been doing this series for a while basically. I just spend a day doing all of these things to make future me's life better. And also doing a bunch of things that I've been avoiding that I've been procrastinating that I know when I do them will make me feel better about life in general. We're doing it a little different today, but same general gist. So the first thing that I want to do to make my home and life better is to put these prints up to replace these prints. Something that is really important to me is the look and feel of my home as I am walking through my home. These are prints that used to be in my office but no longer fit there. I love them and I just feel like they'd be a better fit here and I'm going to move these elsewhere. Because look at this little space, ignore the black stuff in the corner, like those all just look so good up there, like a little reminders of nature. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually cut out some Christmas wrapping paper to be the size of these because this house is crooked and I need to be able to put these up on the wall straight and I don't really have help visually. So this is the easiest way to do it. So I cut out my wrapping paper to the shape of the frames so that I could mock them up on the wall and I took the current frames down. It felt like the end of an era and then I put my mock-ups up to get the placement right. It looks straight to me. <laughs> After that, I chucked up my new frames and this is what they looked like. Okay, they are up, they are relatively straight. The only other change I wanna make, not right now, but I wanna turn that into a mirror. This print I still love, so I wanna put it up in our hallway. Currently, this is our hallway situation. So you've got sort of the entry bit, you've got the mirror, you've got the calendar, which needs to tick over. And I wanna put it here, cause there's like a big blank space and it just looks really stark. I cut out a piece of paper that was sized to the big frame and then I stuck it to the wall to get my placement right. Once I I was happy with it. I put my frame on the wall. Okay, it looks so good. It could have been put a bit more this way, but that's okay. We're filling out this hallway so slowly. This used to be completely blank and it was just so boring and now it's just looking so much more homey. I love it. While I was in this area, I finally moved the birthday wrapping paper that we'd been storing in this basket. It's a tiny change, but the bright wrapping paper sitting in the lounge room really didn't work for me. And it was a little task that had been on my mind. While I was still sort of in that command strip mindset, I hung up a hook beside my bedside. I've actually tried to do this twice before, but I failed because I couldn't get the placement right. So I was really happy to get this done. I also added a hook into this little alcove on the other side of our room. So this one is to hang clothes when I steam them with my little portable steamer that I've gotten because I found that it's much easier when you have clothes hanging up and it doesn't really work when they're hanging up in that section. This one is for my Udi. It's right by my side of the bed. It didn't go exactly where I wanted it to go. Like I wanted it up here, but it turns out that the ability for this to stick relies on the brick being really smooth. And that was the only smooth brick that like let the sticky things lie down nicely. I told myself I would make my laundry a priority on this day because I'd left my clothes out in the rain. And this was the first sunny day that we'd had in a second. Laundry needed to get done. While I'm at it, I'm gonna put away all of the laundry that has been sitting in my room for like longer than a week now. It's absolutely time to be put away. I have been absolutely hoarding laundry. I've collected two baskets. Actually putting your laundry away is a guaranteed feel good activity. Getting these laundry baskets out of my room made me feel like a weight was lifted. I ended up spanning my life admin day over two half days because of appointments and commitments. So after this, I went on a walk and I went to sleep. This morning, I hung my pants over here to steam them and it made it so easy. And look, there hangs my Udi. It's not super pretty hanging there, but it's very functional. Already my little life admin changes are paying off. So now I'm going to be booking in at my brows. They very much need doing, I don't know if you can see that. I've recently switched brow places and the new place that I go to has an online booking system. I love an online booking system, love not having to call up, having to message them to organize a time. So that is my next task. Done. Booked. We're in. Now I really want to clean my couch covers. They get a little dirty from time to time. They are white. We finally have sun, hopefully for the next few days. I took all of the covers off of my office couch and my lounge couch to get all of the couches done in one sweep. And then I piled them up in the laundry, ready to wash and chucked on my first cycle. While we are in that mindset, 
I want to wash these marks off of this curtain. These are the weirdest marks and I genuinely don't know where they came from. They're kind of like little crosses. Those marks appeared like a day after I had already washed and hemmed these curtains. So I'm going to chuck some stain spray on them, get them off. This is something I absolutely would avoid for the rest of my life. But also it's right next to me when I sit at my desk so I can always see it. So the next thing that I'm doing is actually creating a monthly and quarterly home tasks list. The reason that I'm doing this is because every life I've been day, I find myself doing similar things. I mean, not all things. Obviously, I'm not going to be cleaning the marks off my curtains every single time. But in terms of cleaning my couch cover, cleaning my car, don't ask me why it's taken me so long to realize this. But I'm like, mm, those should just really be part of like my monthly reset day or my quarterly reset day. So I'm going to take a second to just put those things in my monthly and quarterly list that I have in Notion set up already. That way, they kind of just become integrated into part of the routine. They're not just an abnormal thing that I do on the life app day that I schedule. I just have a really simple checklist for my quarterly and monthly resets but right now they're pretty focused on goal setting more so than home tasks so I added a few bits and pieces that I know I do regularly to those lists done i'm also thinking next to this image i'm thinking i'm gonna have like a daily weekly monthly chore chart that way it's visible to everyone in the household as in the two individuals that frequent here because having everything in my notion is well and good but i do think with those kind of things you kind of need to keep it visible i don't know if a chore chart for an adult is like socially acceptable but for me and my brain it works these makeup brushes have not been cleaned in so long as you can probably tell right now i'm wearing sunscreen so my face is really shiny but i'm finding that the more products i'm wearing on my face in terms of sunscreen, like heavy moisturizers in winter, the dirtier my brushes are getting because my face is just always covered in product. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all of my makeup brushes today. This is gonna feel like such an accomplishment when I've done it. We're using shampoo and olive oil to clean them. We're moving along to doing little things that will make future me happier. So every morning when I wake up, I listen to some kind of audio, whether it is a podcast or an audiobook. Right now, I'm leaning more towards podcasts. And I have a Spotify playlist filled with a bunch of podcast episodes, but I've listened to a lot of them now. So what I want to do is go through that podcast playlist and update it so that it has a bunch of new fresh podcasts that I'm excited to listen to my podcasts of a morning. The next thing that I'm going to be doing to make future me happier is creating a Skillshare course list. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. One of my values is learning. When I'm not learning new things, I just don't feel right. So what I want to do today is create a playlist of all of the different classes on Skillshare that I'd like to do in the future. That way, whenever I'm like, hmm, like, what should I learn today? What should I schedule in this week? I can go to my list and I have a whole list ready for me. I don't have to go and hunt out new classes, of which there are plenty all of the time. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, get lost in creativity. The types of classes that I added to my list were very focused on productivity, self-care, sort of business building, Building. There's a bit of watercolor in there. There are classes on all of the creative aspects. There's options for days. I recently really enjoyed Thomas Frank's Productivity for Creatives class. He talked about the art of productive constraints, giving yourself constraints to make yourself more productive and more creative. And I really enjoyed that. It got me really inspired. It's created specifically for learning. So there are no advertisements. That way you have a great experience while you are learning new life skills. And it's only $10 a month for an annual subscription. You can sign up and you can get one whole month for free using my link in the description down below for the first 1,000 people to sign up using that link. Join Skillshare today by clicking my link in the description down below. The next task was to create a reminder that goes off to remind Luke and I about our weekly relationship meeting that we do. I also layered on a texting function. So Luke and I will both get a text on Sunday night to remind us. So now on a Sunday evening, the Google Home will say, hey, don't forget that there's a marriage meeting and we both will get a text. <laughs> Luke's gonna love it. <laughs> Recently, I grabbed this, and what this will do is let me and Amy share files really easily without slowing the video editing process down. So that way, when I need to review videos, I don't need to like go into Amy's space when she's in the middle of like making dinner. She has the little ones around and review videos. I can just access the videos whenever I want using this. But I have no idea how to set it up. I'd say it's been sitting there for about two weeks because I'm like, oh, I need to dedicate time to doing that one. So I have this quick installation guide that I'm going to follow and get done so that it doesn't just sit there unused forever. So I took a lot of time trying to get this hard drive set up, much more time than I thought that I would. I couldn't find a spot for it and it ended up sitting on my vanity, which is kind of a temporary solution. But getting all the programs that come with it set up was a whole process that I didn't actually accomplish. 
Greetings, I'm looking my absolute cutest. Wow. It's nighttime, we've got the warm lights on, I've been to Pilates, I've showered, and I'm still trying to work this hard drive stuff out. I have decided, I made an executive decision that I'm gonna go on Airtasker and pay someone to come and figure this out for me because I simply am not a tech expert. This task took way more time than I thought it would, like it literally did take my whole afternoon. Had a few fun problems arise. Sometimes outsourcing just really is the best answer because I could take days to solve this and someone will probably solve it in like under an hour. I did have a few other multipliers that I wanted to get done, but it's okay. I still want to get to those and I'll probably get to them during the week, but I don't want to drag this vlog on. I appreciate you guys so very much and I'll see you soon.